everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm back with another reading, which is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, and it's going to be for the next three months. What can you expect coming up for you in your career, in your love life, in general, in the next three months? We are going to find that out in this reading. So, Scorpio, just be mindful. It's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So, Scorpio, what is coming through for you in the next three months' time? What can you expect happening for you in the next three months' time? Let's pull out some cards for your general energies for the next three time, uh, three months time. General energies for the next three months time. What's going to be happening for you in the next three months time in regards to your career? What's coming through for you in your career? Let's see the last two cards, which is going to be about your love life. And after that, we will also be adding one card to see your relationship dynamics in the next three months' time as well. So we will do that as we move towards the last set of cards, uh, while we read all the other cards as well. So yeah, let's see. What can you expect coming up for you in your love life in the next three months' time? What can you expect happening? What can you expect happening in your love life in the next three months' time? There you go. So let's begin. I'm going to start the reading with the general energies for you in the next three months time. Let's see what is coming through for you generally in, in your life in the next three months time. So we do have the high priest and we do have the four of coins. Um, now what I see is I really see you having some troubles with your finances in the next uh, three months time. I really feel like, you know, you will be kind of like, you know, um, worried about financial security. You would be feeling like, you know, something is like not working well for you. For some of you, there is a chance that you might, um, you might feel like uh, holding on to certain things, certain th th people, situation, job, relationship, money. Uh, you would feel a sense of uh, lack of security, um, you know, in, in the next three months time. And um, you would be wanting to kind of like, you know, um, something to happen that can help you change your belief, help you get rid of this sense of uh, lack that you're feeling right now. So I really see that, you know, it's going to be a time of your life where you're going to feel like, um, you know, you would you would want divine to help you with, with certain areas of your life. Um, you would feel like, you know, kind of um, insecure, you know, you would want to feel secure. You would want to feel having something happening in your favor. You would want to have someone who could love you in, in the next three months time. I really feel like, you know, you would feel like there is something that, uh, that, that, that needs to be healed. That needs to be, you would want someone to walk in your life and help you with, with uh, your belief system as well. Uh, who can help you get rid of the fears that you are having as well. So your focus is going to be all about, you know, trying to get rid of the fears and insecurities that you're having right now, which can be about your materialistic gains, which can also be about your losing, you know, your people that you love, or, you know, your fear around like losing the money that you have. But there will be some sort of those kind of fears that I see coming in for you in the next three months time that you would want to work towards. Um, and I really feel like, you know, there will be some sort of an inner call that you would be having in the next three months time which is going to make you feel like no there is something that you're doing wrong you need to fix it you need to fix it so i really see something like that coming through for you in the next three months time in general let's see what's happening for you in your career let's see we do have the helmet and ace of cups um okay i really see you very overwhelmed when it comes to your work life uh you might be spending a lot of time working, 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 working. It's just going to make you feel like, you know, there, there is nothing happening, um, you know, as such in your, in your love life. And you do have the fear that if you let love in your life, you would probably lose the sense of, um, you know, protection or security in your work life. You might get love, but then you have the fear that if you allow love in, you will be unable to give yourself into your work career path. Now, the fear is what keeps you isolated from the people. 
and you would be diligently working 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 towards something or the other in the month of uh, in the next uh, you know three months time but um it's it's i really feel like you know whether you you know it's just more like you're fearing of falling in love with someone you're fearing like you know it is gonna get hap you know it's something is gonna happen and you are feeling like you know oh i need to hold myself back i need to hold and keep the control because that's where probably this is coming from you know four of coins you're holding yourself back from letting love in your life you're holding yourself back from you know having someone in your life even though you would want to have someone because you're seeing, feeling a sense of uh, lack in in your life right now but you would still be kind of like you know pushing love away now the more you're gonna think that i don't want to talk to someone i don't want to fall in love the more i see love coming in your life in the next three months time there is going to be a new relationship that i see coming in for you where that you know that fear of yours is gonna get like oh my god oh my god i can't fall in love with this person i cannot do this i cannot do that um but i really feel like you know the the next three months time um i really see that um you would not be able to work towards your career uh growth i really don't see that maybe that's where also the fear is coming through you are feeling like lack of uh, satisfaction in your work front and you're gonna feel like oh my god you need to secure your financial you know uh, uh materialistic things because you would feel like you know something has happened or will be happening in the next three months time in your love life which is going to make you feel like oh my god i'm losing my control over my work and you know I'm, I'm more inclined to spend time with the person that i'm involved with and stuff like that so you will have that like you know conflict from within around your love and work and you would not be able to focus more on your you know work life as much as you would be focused on your love life so i really see that you are going to feel very overwhelmed um but I really see a new relationship which is going to come through which is going to influence your work life as well in the next three months time let's see the what's happening for you in your love life in the next three months time we do have nine of wands and then we do have the three of coins wow now i really feel like you know, there is somebody out there um in your love life that um you might have pushed away but now because now i know what's the what's going on why you are concerned about your love life at your work front and why you're concerned about your money and your your work life when it comes to your love life it seems like you know somebody has basically hijacked your peace you know you might have always been like you know somebody who 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 was working 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 and then somebody invaded in your inner like you know world that you had created and now when when you are with the someone specific you're feeling drained you're gonna feel like drained emotionally mentally physically you're gonna feel like oh i need to get back to work and you will have the conflict with your person because of that now i really feel like you know for a majority of you your love life is gonna be like you know i really feel like you know, for some of you you might be having somebody in your love life through your work life you might get to be with someone through your through your work life which is going to make you feel like oh i don't know what's going to happen now you know you would not be able to focus on your career and then you have this person someone that you cannot even avoid so i really see you falling in love with someone at your work front which is going to make things even tougher for you to stay away from this person because that person is going to be connected to you through your work so it's it's going to be like something that unavoidable kind of like a circumstances which is which are going to develop and i feel like that's going to make you feel like oh i don't know how to handle it now because you cannot stop working you cannot stop like you know loving this person so the two of you will be spending a lot of time together and it is going to get on your nerves in the next three months time you will be finding it very hard to juggle and to you know to figure out how to handle and have that work-life balance and work and love-life balance at all i really see you struggling with that but i really feel like you know there is something kept going on in your love life and in your work life simultaneously so i really feel like you know there is somebody in your life who's going to be connected to you through your work is going to come and uh, it's going to change all and everything the things that you were running away from the commitment that you were running away from you will not be able to run away from that anymore you do have one thing which is going to keep you connected and probably that was missing in the previous relationships you know that person the new person that i see here the love that i see on your mind it's it's like it's something unavoidable you cannot avoid it you know earlier maybe you used to kind of like you know get yourself busy with your work so you avoid your person but this time around it's going to be like you would be with them so 
it is unavoidable. You know, the love scenario that I see coming for you and your love life is unavoidable. That is going to con kind of like, you know, mess your mind up. You're going to feel like, oh, I don't know how, how can I focus on my world because they are with me all the time. So that's what I see. For some of you, you might be starting a business with this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. And it is definitely going to influence your your brain, uh, your connection, your your sense of who you are, like crazy. So I really see you having three months which are going to be full of madness coming for you because you would not be able to find that peace to think through things i really feel like you know, that's where the high priestess is coming in you have to heal yourself you have to calm yourself you have to tell yourself it's okay like your know, love and work and home life can be balanced it's okay you don't have to i really see anxious energy in you i really am picking up like you know you're going to be going crazy um and you don't have to be uh, you have to calm yourself up. You have to calm your nerves. You have to be like, you know, telling you and reminding yourself, it's okay. You don't have to be feeling drained. Oh, I have to take care of this relationship. No, just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Keep reminding yourself. Keep talking to yourself and calm your nerves because I really see you having that, you know, breakdown there because you will be stressed out because this is not something that you did in the past. So I really see something like that coming through for you in the next three months time. Let's see what is going to be your relationship equation with this person forever young, a song of youthful playfulness. You will have a very playful energy with this person and this person and you are going to have a good time. But at the same time, you would not be able to break free from it as you could have been doing in the past because you used to be more workaholic as what I see here with your, with your energies. But this time you would not be able to do that. You would be more like, you know, finding it hard to kind of like, you know, stay away from that person. And then you feel like, oh, you are losing control over your money and, you know, your your mind because of this person. So your your love is going to be on your mind in the next three months time is what I see coming through for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and bye.